Yo, it's the Edge, and we're talking about these daughters, you know. Me, a guy that's stepping into this world and really don't understand the importance of things. But then, the man up top, you know, he puts a daughter in my life. That makes me slow down, that makes me really say, hey man, you better be careful, because what you're doing out here can affect your household, so to speak. So for me, it was like, man, I got, you know, I got this daughter, so I gotta look at things different. We all have mothers, but, when you get that daughter, it hits a little bit different. look back on it, I, I appreciate the fact that I had daughters first. I had three girls, three boys, but the daughters came back to back to back. And when they got here, it changed me as a person. It gave me a different outlook on the overall situation. So for me, I went all in with my daughters. My daughters understand that, hey, daddy gonna be here 24 seven. You know, my first daughter is Quisha, Quee Quee. That's my first, you know, that's the, that's the one that kind of taught me how to be a father, you know. And now, you know, we grew up together because when you have a child at 17, 18 years old, the gap is not that big. With that being said, she helped raise me and I raised her. Hey y'all, my name is Quee James and I am the eldest of the James clan. I'm also the attorney and my father's business partner and what I like to call my family's keeper. She's my lawyer, you know. She's in law school, she went to Howard University because I wanted to give her a chance to be successful. At least you understand that this is what you wanted, not what you was forced to do. So he was just in the car, like rattling off different career paths. And at that point, I'm eight. I'm not really aware of what's out there. In my head, you can be a singer, you can be a football player, or whatever the case may be. But at one point he was like, what about an attorney? And at that point, I didn't know exactly what an attorney was. So he started explaining it to me. And I'm like, I think I can do that. I think that sounds like it's me. So. He set me up with an attorney down in Florida and he was like, oh, you're gonna meet with him and I want you to go and take notes and just ask him everything about his job. And I remember going with my Hello Kitty notebook and I had my questions and like I said, I'm eight years old, but this man had a plan and he was gonna see it through. Even though I was eight, he was thinking about me at 25 and I'm 25 now and I'm doing everything that we planned I would do. So whatever path I choose to go on, he's gonna make sure that I'm equipped with all of the resources and the support that I need to be the best at it. Like, and that isn't just contained to my career path. Like even when I decided that I wanted to run track, just randomly, he was like, okay, you wanna run track? Well, he was out there at every practice, always critiquing me and showing me how to be better and how to get better and how to be faster. So anything that I've ever said I wanted to do, he's made sure that he's been there every step of the way. 